Hello, this is Hot Indonesia, where we do all the mental work for you out there. I'm Dalton Tanonak in Jakarta. Here is this week's HI Hot List. Just justice, are two educators innocent of sex crime. Fatal flow, why we could be even higher on a deadly global list. And Holy Quran, why some Muslims are unhappy about this new movie. My co-hosts beside me each and every week, two ladies who live life to the fullest each and every day. We uh, do try. Rahayu Saraswati, Sarah, is a first year parliament member, former actress, whom I now see going to the movies every week. We love it. When you can't be in them, you gotta go to them. I, I, I don't know if I wanna call myself a former actress. Okay, actor. you still got it, you still got it. That's and Yeni right. Wahid is director of the Wahid Institute, daughter of the fourth president of Indonesia and former hand model. And you can call me also a former artist if you want to. Yeah, yeah that's matter. right. Even though I'm not. <laughs> she let the hand, she artist, hand model thing go right by her. Okay, hot topic. Uh, okay. Number one, just <laughs> justice. The verdict came in late in the day, just before Easter weekend. Neil Bentleman and Ferdinand Jong guilty of sexually abusing three boys at what was then called the Jakarta International School. The Canadian and Indonesian staff members got 10 years in prison each for a crime both adamantly deny committing. Family and supporters of the men say judges in the closed trial relied on weak evidence, cut the defense short, and ignored expert testimony. Now, reactions from the U.S., Canadian, and U.K. governments expressed concerns of credibility, lack of transparency. Um, was this a bad verdict? Many in the community seem to think so. Um, and that's really, uh, his, you know, I would be one of the first to, in the front, you know, row, making sure that justice is served, especially when it comes to pedophiles, especially when it comes to sexual abuse against children. A lot of us would be, uh, you know, especially for, um, you know, mothers who really do care about their, not just mothers, of course, fathers as well, um, who do think that this kind of crime um, yeah. is atrocious, but number one. However, in this case, here's the hardest thing. It's a universal problem, not just here in Indonesia, but around the world, that when it comes to cases of rape, um, you know, sodomy and all of that, you need still two pieces of evidence. It's not, testimony itself is not enough. You need Especially to have... You need physical evidence. You need physical evidence. And obviously, when it comes to children, you know, cases involving children, it's even extreme, it's even more difficult because it's already difficult in the first place to get their testimony because they don't even know a lot of the times what happened And we'll to talk them. about that medical evidence that some people say wasn't there. Okay? Correct, yes. You any trouble by this at all? Well, you see, when you say, well, when you say the reactions from the community, actually we're talking about two different communities here, reactions by two different communities. When the, um, uh, if you talk about the expat communities, of course, the reactions will be, you know, appalled by the verdict. Well, one was Indonesian. But, one of the one of the guys yes. was Indonesian. But the uh, I think um, from one, what I read, you know, the local uh, communities, the Indonesian communities, they feel that uh, some even said that uh, the sentence is not harsh enough. And for I'm me, I'm not among that. I'm sorry, okay. I'm not amongst that. Of course not, and we all not also. I'm not uh, for that as well. But uh, what I'm trying to say is that. There is a, a failure in this case, I think, in, 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 uh, in this case, to handle the crisis from the very beginning, that it led to such a uh, prosecutions by the public. So there is that issue as well. Yes. So this is more than just a, uh, a, a case being tried in, in, in a court. Mm -hmm. This is a public's opinion uh, plays a role as well. It was well. almost us versus a, them kind of thing. Yes. There is also a pressure but against one was uh, on the police, on the police as well. Yes. But, uh, no, no. The, there's two groups. We have to we have to lay that down. There's two groups. It's not just the two uh, teachers, but right, right. five and, and, other and the, people. And the janitors who are, also, who are okay. Yes. Let's talk about this particular about these two educators. Now, some possible issues that will be brought up uh, in the appeal, which is ongoing. Um, they're going to file it, or they have testimony about a so-called magic stone. You read about this in the media mm -hmm. that was used in the abuse case, which was mm -hmm. never produced in, mm -hmm. in court. Um, and one judge said during the trial, it was revealed later that. Um, one of the, the, the men's, uh, the educator's sex life was abnormal as a justification for um, what he did to the children because he and his wife had sex only once a week. I mean, these oh, kind of wow. things. <laughs> and, wow, and that's, okay. You know, okay. She actually said that in court. That yeah, they, they said that, and that's why it was he did what he did. 
So this kind of, you know, in, in any That's other That's not court, even a justification for, and here's the thing, I, I just how, want to how would something. They <laughs> how would they know? How would they know? Well, the, the guy said probably. Okay, right. Well, well, I just want to straighten something out, first of all, that when I said that I don't support the verdict, not because, I, about, about how long the sentence was, it's not even about how long the sentence was, but just the fact that there isn't, uh, I, I get this from a forensic psychologist, from people who really have seen the, the case from beginning to the end. Uh, I've talked to them and I've asked for their opinion, and these are Indonesians who, sp who spoke on this. They're forensic, again, they, they, they know what it takes for a case to go they through. Deal with and science, even, yeah. even they say that this should not have gone through because it's not beyond unreasonable doubt. Yeah. There, the, you know, when we're talking about the law here in Indonesia, it's a little bit of a, what I don't like is if people use, there are certain people, there's a message now that's going through that people are using this as a case to send a message. And to, it's not, to, it's to not even what? about getting the truth, it's about The higher saying, end members of the community, the you, upper class, I, no, elites. I, I, well, that's, no, that's the, I, that's the, that's I the backdrop of, all, of, yeah. of the cases in that, uh, in the sense that the GIS case was, uh, GIS was... Uh, on trial. Uh, on trial, yes. Yeah. Simply because Not being, because you know, being GIS, being, well, being wise. And, and because, you know, it also shows that, the, you know, a reflection of the income disparity in the society, the social class, whether we like it or not, it's actually there. But a good number but, of Indonesians send their children there. Not just foreigners. No, it's true. It's true. Yep. Yeah, it's true. Okay. A good number of rich Indonesians. So that's the thing. I mean, there's also that, okay. that, 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 that's so it's not a racial thing. It's a it's an economic. It's an economic strata. thing. Okay. Yeah. One backdrop talking about money is the ongoing civil case that's going on in parallel. Uh, one of the parents sued for 125 million dollars mm -hmm. in claims against the school. Went up from just 12.5. Exactly. Million so some to... supporters of the convicted men say this is all about money and nothing else. Of course, there would be some people who, you know, when you see uh, something like that, that's that's normal to think that. But I think it's also normal for, a, a, you know, any um, people who feel like, you know, um, victims' family to feel like they have a right to actually sue because of. Yeah, and this will help their case now know, that they got conviction. That. It'll help the civil trial. But it's, it's not it's not convicted yet because they're it's well, not Well, they're convicted, over yet. but there's an appeal. That's for it. right. Yeah. So in they Indonesian terms, you cannot call them the convicted uh, felons. You cannot uh, not yet. And this is from again uh, law lawyers and forensic uh, psychologists and, and, and they were forensic. pronounced guilty in court. But because it's not the final verdict, you still cannot say that they they are convicted and that's what because it and, there's already and, someone and they're supporters going for saying they're not guilty at all now uh, last point if, if it were my child or any of our children of course we would want the harshest punishment you Absolutely. may want to take it into your own hands if it's true but the point is there are questions in this case about whether it was ha properly handled and properly adjudicated and yes. that is what the point is and whether my, they, yes. there's always two sides I, of the and story my yeah. final message of course as a legislator is that we actually need better uh, uh, you know system with the education system as in the schools themselves. We need to ensure that they are a safe environment for our children. This can happen anywhere. Yeah, and, and whether it and did or not and, at and, this and school, that's case, another question. And another okay. case has just come up in, at another school. Okay, So and the appeal in know. this case could take from three to six months. The men will remain in prison during that time. Hot Indo will continue shortly. Why we rate so high on a global blacklist. You're watching Hot Indonesia with Yeni, Sarah, and me. Here's hot topic number two, fatal flow. Just about every survey says Jakarta has among, if not the worst traffic congestion in the world. The latest list, even more sobering, a national police official said Indonesia had the world's fifth highest total of traffic deaths last year at 28,000. That's 76 people a day. Ahead of us on the list, China, India, Afghanistan, and Nigeria. You know, obviously one simple factor in this is that Population size means more accidents occur. China and India, two biggest countries. Mm -hmm. I did some research. Uh, United States, number three, third biggest country. I mean, they should be on this list because they had mm -hmm. 32,000 traffic deaths in 2030. So I think maybe the, the police guy was talking about Asia. Yeah, maybe Asia or, or Asia developing worlds. I don't know because the United States had 32,000. Oh, okay. So they, they had more yeah. in terms of numbers. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, but the point is we have 
So are they talking about percentage, share. do you think? No, they're just talking no. total number. Okay, If total it's by, by per capita, that's a different thing. Then maybe, yes, you're right. Maybe mm -hmm. it is Asia. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, then, then that's different. The then statistic different. says that in 2010 alone, there was like more than a million deaths caused by traffic accidents. Globally? No, no, just in Indonesia. Well, that, that, that can't be. Yeah, well, it's just another statistic that's uh, it's out there. A million I people die? I don't think so. It's just one year. I think maybe traffic accidents. Traffic because, accidents, yeah, yes, okay. traffic accidents. Fatalities is a different, that, that would be a, 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 a incredible. Oh, okay. The, yes. the average getting, has been 25 to 30,000 yes, yes, deaths. Fatalities instead of deaths. You're talking yes, about traffic okay. accidents, yes. Yes. resulting. Okay. Traffic really accidents. That would be scary. Yes. You know, uh, I'm trying to keep up with my pregnancy brains here, yeah. keeping up. The, the <laughs> factors involved besides most population obviously are um, disregard of safety laws. Mm -hmm. People don't wear their helmets or their seat belts in the cars. Yeah. Um, well, uh, surprisingly, here the most cause of the accidents, the accidents that happen most, is uh, well, happens for uh, for motorcycle, for motorcyclists. Yeah. Oh, so there's a lot of motorcycles. about 36 percent of traffic accidents. And that makes and sense. And then and then bus driver, uh, bu uh, bus passengers, and then pedestrians. So car accidents only like uh, less than five percent. Yeah. Right. And you know, actually, I was actually going to mention my experience of you know driving or being driven abroad, but then you mentioned maybe it's Asia, so I was going to say something like Italy, where literally they're like crazy drivers. Or in the Middle East, in Saudi Arabia, oh my goodness. Really? Fast car, like, I mean, you've never seen the fast cars. Like, I mean, do you think it's because it's like really straight, as in long road, yes, stretches long of road, road empty be that. road, the yeah. Yeah. And big cars. And okay, yeah. besides the safety factors, um, the other factors involved in accidents and, and sadly deaths are, are you ignore traffic laws, that's, mm -hmm. that's human error. And, and, and driver recklessness. Some people yes. think they are on the racetrack, yes. and that's that's pit limits. But yes. on the other side as well, I don't know if this plays again into just Asia, but I know in the certain countries that have maybe lower or maybe not lower, but just a better situation on the roads would be the how difficult it is to get the um, sim driver's license in the first place. Here Whereas it's easy. Here, in Singapore, <laughs> how much does it cost? <laughs> Here you, you, you don't even have you, to drive. I know. Yeah. That's, be able to that's drive. a sad part. You know, it's, I mean, it's, really it's really sad. Yeah. It's really sad. It's actually, it, it's actually can, a serious you can buy, issue. You can buy a fake yeah. traffic yeah, it's uh, a serious driver's issue. license. Yeah, you. because actually I was taking the test and I tell you it's impossible to re to finish it within the uh, allotted time. Don't tell me that you, to be an, uh, you, you didn't buy it. I didn't want to. I was taking it seriously, but my guy suddenly said, no, 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 you, what, it's what, just formality. I'm like, what? I was so angry that, like, you know, the person who was helping did me. Did you get your license? I, I did, I did. L legally? Leg it's supposed to be legally, and yet, you know, again, the conversation, I don't know now whether they actually really did a tally well, on I my got, I got my license when I was still in uh, university. <laughs> well, I was uh, an undergrad, yeah. and I, I didn't even know how to drive that. <laughs> so, but they advertised that on the campus. Oh. It's like a... But you yeah, didn't, you, you, you didn't so, cause any accidents, did you? Yeah? Well, I never drive. Okay. <laughs> then why so do you need a license? Ah, ah, ah. Why do you need a license? Because all my all my friends were getting the license. Okay. Right? Plus, you need ID when you go into the clubs <laughs> that don't let you in with ID. <laughs> you, know, you know what's really bad though? In America, when I was driving, I, I never got an, into an accident with another car while I was on the road. It's always like a, a cone or something that's on the road. Oh, so you like the inanimate objects? <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. As long as you don't get hurt. my own car. Arm, okay. You know, you know I, 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 I contend that um, we are fortunate that our number on the list isn't even higher because I, I always say that it amazes me every day when you're in traffic how things flow and how it's like water because I, we should be a lot worse. But, but we yeah, have drivers here are. No, are no you know why? As well, too. because of the traffic and how slow everything's well, going. But that people could adjust. Also people, help people, in you know, it's, it's, people are flexible here and they don't have the road rage that the other countries do. Thankfully. Oh, yeah, the, but well, you know, when you look at the, the how um, some motorcyclists drive, it's just crazy the way yes. they drive. True, yes. it's just like, but yes. uh, it works. It, it they have to, you know, it it works better than I think it should. I don't even cycle anymore because I'm I'm too scared of yeah. going out of the house yes. and, and, and yes. on my bike. Actually, this because there's no lane for yeah. bikes, bicycle lane, and then right, there's no bicycle lane. That's something we. I think I think what'll make a major difference is when light rail comes online in a couple years. That'll make a major difference in in, in the fatalities, the traffic, and just the general. Hopefully, no, I think we're talking about in Jakarta. If, in yeah. if the yeah. law is not in, being in, imposed, if no, if if you know people 
uh, go against you know speeding limits and all that, and still not being punished by the police. Still yeah. no law enforcement. Law enforcement. Of course. Then, yeah. yeah. But I, I'm just saying not about light change. rail. Bangkok was worse than Jakarta ten years ago when light rail came in. It, it solved a lot of problems. Oh, yes, yes. So, I've heard I, that I'm hopeful. As well. Okay, more hot indo is ahead. Should this movie about Islam's prophet be banned? You're watching Hot Indonesia from Jakarta. Here is hot topic number three, Holy Quran. Muhammad! It's Iran's most expensive movie ever. $30 million was spent to produce this three-hour film focusing on the childhood of Islam's prophet. But most of Iran's Muslims are Shiites, while the majority of the religion are Sunnis, and they forbid any depiction of Muhammad. You know, Indonesian, of course, mostly Sunni Muslims, and I would expect, I would expect there'd also be protests here if the film should play here, right? Oh, not necessarily. I mean, there's no depiction of the Prophet in the movie. I think people are, oh, will be well, quite... they're showing him without showing his face. Like the back of his head yeah, or the back. Yeah, but there's no like yeah. lighting. Depiction. Exactly, no, exactly. No, but exactly. There, you know, exactly. the protests exactly. around the world are because they're actually trying to portray the Prophet, and that's forbidden, right, in the Quran? No, the visual imagery of the Prophet is what uh, people, you know, right. are quite sensitive so about it because they don't the want a distorted there, yeah. uh, image of the Prophet. But... You know, uh, if it's just uh, related account, it, accounts related by somebody else, by other people, it had been uh, it had been the cultures of Islam. You know, we've been narrations of uh, you know how mm -hmm. people and they're uh, doing it for the right purpose, of, right? I mean, it's to to spread the message of and, Islam, not they, not cartoons like correct, happened in Paris. I think correct. people here will be quite curious about the movie. There will be some elements in the society who will try to make this as a political cause, mm -hmm. to make a, you know, a big uh, issue about it. But I think the majority of Muslims will be quite curious. You know, I bet you they won't even try to run it here because they're afraid of the backlash yes. you know, yes. and, and, and yes. any potential conflict. Well, which is strange. Which is, unfortunate. Well, which is sad yeah. because mm -hmm. I would want to see it. You know, we saw I saw um, this movie the other day about uh, a PK. It's an Indian movie. Yes. It's really it's recommendable. It's just it's fantastic movie about religion. If you haven't uh, seen it, you should. Yeah. Really fun and and, and but, but but in but, that religion it okay. isn't bad. Well, okay, that's <laughs> two points. That about PK, be careful because it's actually uh, it's actually based on the ideals of an atheist. Right. Who doesn't, or agnostic, who doesn't think that any religion is right. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. okay. So, but that's that's on PK, but, but I still love the movie. But on this movie, I think one thing that a lot of people need to be aware of, there was thinking that, oh, maybe it's being postponed because of, um, well, you know, the pressures. pressures and all that, but it wasn't. It was actually a technical glitch or something. And then another, the other thing is that people need to know that they actually, or the, the makers of the films, uh, consulted with both Sunni and Shiites to to make sure that nobody has issues with. Uh, and we're recruited. talking about well, yeah. at least in Iran. From, in Iran, from, from my, what I read, I mean, it's uh, it's about the Prophet's uh, childhood childhood days until, until he, twelve the, years the, old. Until yeah. Uh, no, I think until that's, he that's is, the article until he's profited. Oh, okay. Well, you yeah. know, I, they recruited mm. Hollywood talent to make the movie. It it looks, I heard, very high quality. Um, couldn't this be an exception to the ban on images of, of Muhammad? I mean, are there is there exceptions in? The it's a sensitive <laughs> issue and something that cannot will not be resolved uh, just by releasing a movie. You know, it will create lots of uh, you know uh, debates and controversy. But it's and, three hours too. That's but, a long time, man. Yeah. That's a long. Movie. But again, accounts, they some accounts of the Indian prophets, movies have it three hours oh, okay. long. Accounts of the prophets have been narrated for you know for uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, hundreds of years by. Many I, people around I here. Thi I think a lot of people is also worried because there was a movie that came out in 2000, and apparently a lot of it created a lot of controversy because here. even though it did not show at all the Prophet Muhammad, that was oh, one. Okay. It was like by somebody ah Akkad or something. I, I forgot his name. It was another Iranian um, filmmaker, and that created 
So you know. we have to go to Iran to see the film. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, we're I'll not go. sure yet. We're not have, sure I'll yet. Have, it hasn't been I discussed. I have trust in the black here. market of yeah. Indonesia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, It'll boy. be out on DVD hey, tomorrow. Hey, I think <laughs> we have a hard time finding whistleblower here. Okay, you know? well, no, I bet you'll find the uh, Mohammed messenger of God soon. Okay. <clears throat> yes. It is feedback time. Please <laughs> let us know what you think. I'm choking up about this. This tweet <laughs> came from the U.S. The Current Events Roundtable, Hot Indonesia, MHZ Worldview, Saturdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. That is right. This program is now seen in America every week, available in 44 million homes. Yay. Okay. Wow. If you have okay. any feedback on what you've heard or would like to suggest a topic for us to tackle, please email us at hotindo at the Indonesia channel.com or comment through our Indonesia channel Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram pages. Final words, Yeni. Residents of Jakarta had won a lawsuit recently in the Constitutional Court against city water operator Pamjaya and the government. The verdict mandates that the city government now manages the water for the people. Many people have argued that since the water was privatized almost 15 years ago, the Jakartans have to pay 15, 10, 10, 10, 10 folds more than the price uh, that we paid before it was managed by, by private firms. So with this uh, momentum, I want to urge the city of Jakarta, the, the, uh, the, the government, to start managing the water for the people again and, and do not appeal the case. Do not appeal, even though you lost. And because many cities in the world have gone uh, through the route of uh, going back to the municipalities of, of, of um, managing the water for the people. Yeah. Let's get clean water for everyone. Okay, yes. final clean words, water, yeah. Sarah. <clears throat> um, I want to again uh, put a focus on the case uh, by JIS uh, uh, at JIS, and there's actually more cases in other schools coming up. But the fact is this, obviously, when it's involving children, all of us would get our emotions involved, we, we would get very emotional about it, and we definitely want to have justice served. However, that does not mean that we overlook the human rights of those of the defendants, of those who might actually not be guilty. So let's ensure that it's beyond reasonable, it's beyond reasonable, reasonable doubt. doubt and uh, to ensure that, yes, the truth is what we're trying to get and not simply because we want to send a message, not simply because we want to ensure that, hey, pedophilia, sex abuse is not okay in this country, but we want to ensure that, again, justice is served based on truth. Justice. And that's, yes. that's the most important thing. Okay, my final words. You know, maybe I said this before, the tougher things get, the smaller your circle of friends becomes, don't forget who they are and who they aren't when things get better. Um, and that is Hot Indonesia for Sarah and Yeni. I'm Dalton Tonaraka. See you important. again next time. Important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's more <laughs> <laughs> Do you tend to have a